Hey guys, I've been asked to make this video for my friends out there in Okinawa for Typhoon Vongfong. There is a lot of English speaking people on that island in the southern Japanese islands and uh, just looking for some information on this storm. If you do want additional information on how it's impacting the Philippines, please do go check out my YouTube channel at Westpac Weather if you're not already watching this there or my Facebook page, Robert Spetta Meteorologist. Let's get right into this and talk about this storm system, which is now over the Philippines. And you just take a look at the satellite imagery here and just to kind of give you an idea if you're unfamiliar with the area Okinawa is back here towards the north you have all the Philippines here this is where Vongfeng is at this time continuing to get disrupted out over the island of Luzon and in fact uh, winds now down to 65 knots so it's just barely hanging on to category 1 intensity 80 knot gust pressure 9 now at 985 hectopascals and I expect it to continue to weaken as we go ahead throughout your day here on your Friday heading into Saturday as well just mainly due to land interaction but the big points I want you to take away from this is that it will continue to weaken over Luzon I don't expect a typhoon by any means near Okinawa nor a tropical storm for that matter um big thing is that it probably is going to assist the rainy season front uh, as it pulls off here towards the north and increase rainfall across the southern Japanese islands but uh, overall you can actually see here by the time it passes Okinawa by 18 to 18z I mean winds are at 30 knots and that's predominantly the forward motion at that point on the right side of the storm meaning that the northern half of the storm uh, for the island of Okinawa Honto, Ishigaki and Miyakojima I mean, it's probably going to be a pretty calm day. We'll have some rough seas, so keep that in mind. Uh, seas will not be pretty, but uh, the worst of the weather definitely will be further towards the south out over open water. This is what I mean by it'll assist the rainy season front, though. This is your rainfall accumulation in millimeters, not inches. I do apologize if you're used to in inches, but a uh, big thing is that it does get wrapped up with that rainy season front. This is indicating some areas about upwards of uh, 1 to 200 millimeters, which is, you know, about 5 to 6 inches of precip. And then eventually that will move over Okinawa as well. And in fact... Uh, I mentioned that you're in the rainy season out here. It started back on the 11th, so it's only been going on for a few days now. Now, this is all in Japanese. I know, I know, but what it's showing you here, and let's just take a little walk through some Japanese. This is the kanji for last year. Last year, the rainy season started on the 16th. It ended for Okinawa on the um, October 10th, or August 10th, excuse me. Um, yeah, no, that's yeah, yeah, August 10th. Uh, this year, or typically, it starts on May 9th. So it's really right on schedule for the southern Japanese islands. And uh, you know how you can tell if you're in the rainy season, too? Just take a look at this. This is the forecast from JMA for Naha, for example. That's on Okinawa Hanto. That is over the course of the next f five to six days. Rain, 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 rain. Look at Amami just north of Okinawa Honto. Uh, plenty of rainfall out here as well. Everybody's getting rain across that entire swath of the Western Pacific. And that is the Mayu Bayou front. I actually made a whole video explaining what is the rainy season front on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, do go check it out. Uh, just type in what is the rainy season front Westpac weather into YouTube and you'll probably be able to find it. But yeah, just kind of give you an idea of what to expect with this storm system. I do not not anticipate a full-on tropical storm maybe an increase in rainfall not so much from the storm but how it gets wrapped up with that tropical system and the rainy season front together just shear with that it's going to rip it apart so it won't have any tropical characteristics by the time it gets towards north so if you're new to the island and you're like i want to go through a typhoon it's not your time yet you gotta wait Typically, we have to wait until about June and July when storms get a little bit further towards the north and start to impact the southern islands of Japan. If you guys have any questions, though, please let me know in the comment box below. Um, yeah, I'm posting this on the Okinawa Prep Facebook page, so plenty of great people there. And uh, just trying to help you guys out as well. So, yeah. All right. Stay safe out there. And as always, thanks for watching.